Hey everyone, welcome back to Youth Tutors, where learning is fun, clear, and made just for you. In today's video, we're diving into multiple digit multiplication, focusing on how to multiply two digit numbers by two digit numbers, like 24 times 36. That might sound tricky at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down step by step so it's easy to understand. You'll learn what multi-digit multiplication really means, how to use certain strategies like the box method, for example, or also known as the area model, and the standard algorithm, and see real life examples that makes the math meaningful. We'll also share tips to help you avoid common mistakes. So please grab your notebooks, sharpen your pencils, and let's get multiplying. So multi-digit multiplication. Multi-digit multiplication really means that multiplying numbers that have more than one digit. Instead of just multiplying single digit numbers like 6 times 4, you're multiplying larger numbers like 23 times 45. Even in fact, um, since for only this video we're doing like two digits, two by two, but of course it's going to be, um, there can be three by two or three by one and same strategies also apply to them. Knowing how to multiply two digit numbers helps you solve real life problems. And that's why it's important. It builds your confidence with bigger numbers. Imagine like you're buying 23 tickets for like a field trip and each ticket costs suppose $45. You need multiplication to figure out the total cost. Or even maybe like you're helping your family tile a floor and you need to find the area of your room. That's 24 feet by 36 feet. You use multiplication for that too. This skill is also a stepping so stone for learning more advanced math, like long division, algebra, and even working with decimals and percentages later on. Plus, it helps you get faster and more accurate with mental health and problem solving. So that is, that is only some of the reasons why it's really important. It can be helping you in real life, um, definitely in math, um, whether it be right now or later on in life, when you're dealing with percentages, long division, algebra, or just in general, if you need it for groceries, like you need to know this by this, what's the amount, or even in job at that point. So it is a very important strategy that you guys do need to know. So let's talk about some strategies that you can use in order to do multi-digit multiplication. First one being box method that we've of course talked about it a lot. So the box method um, is basically also known as like the area model. So the first step would be to like break apart the numbers by place value. So for example, um, 23 will become like two, uh, 20 plus three. So we're basically like taking out of the, we're taking out three out of the 20. So it's going to be 20 and then we add three into it. And the 45 will become 48 plus 5. Next, we'll draw 2 times 2 box, like 2 by 2 box, which kind of looks like this. So it would be like like this, basically, if that helps you. And um, you put in the number. So it would be 20 and 3. And here it would be 40 and 5. And this is how it basically would look like. And you would just like separate it, basically. So next, you will fill in the box by multiplying numbers from the top with the number from the side. So basically what it means is that over here, right, it's going to be like 40 times 20. So let me change the color and explain it. So 40 times 20, right, that's going to equal you 80, 80, 100, 800. Then you do 40 times 3, which is 120. You do 5 times 20, uh, 5 times 20 which is 100. And then you do 5 times 3, which is 15. And you can see it over here too, where it's like 4 times 20, 4 times 3, and it has given you these two numbers, and then 5 times 20, and then 5 times 3, which gives you these numbers. Now you're going to add all of the four numbers, and that's going to give you the answer. Of course, it's going to be 800 from here, 120 from here, 100 from here, and 15 from here. And that gives you 1,035, and that's the answer. So it would be basically what it means is like 23 times 45 equals 1,035. And you can um, check the answer by like using a calculator perhaps. 
and you will get the same answer. The next strategy is called the standard algorithm, which is basically the traditional vertical multiplication that we have been doing, uh, whether it be for their single digits or just in general for um, other digits. And personally, I feel that this is the easier way to multiply multi-digit numbers. And I personally also use this and a lot of people that I know also use this strategy. So this is a very convenient and easy strategy to multiply multi-digit multiplication. So in order for this strategy, um, you have to first, of course, write them vertically. So 23 times 45, since that's what we're working with. Then what we do is that we multiply by the one digit. So what it means is like we're going to just use one digit for now. Um, so we're going to use five for now. So we're going to do 23 basically three times five first that's that is going to give us 15 we put uh we write down the five and we carry the one on to the two then we do two times five which gives us 10 and we add the one this one to it and that's going to give us 11 so we write down 11 so basically 11 oh uh, sorry 115 is basically 23 times five now what we do next is multiply by the 10 digits so now what this this basically means is that we're kind of multiplying 23 times a 40, but write it as multiplying it by four, but in the like in the tens place. So you have to like add a zero in the ones place first. So in this strategy, basically place value plays a huge role and it's very important that you know your place values. So it's just in case if you don't, um, there is a separate video on it. So please go check that out. So um, forty. So what we basically do for this is we already have uh, 23 times 45 and we have 115, right? So now what we do is we do 4 times 3. Which first we write down that 0. Then we do 4 times 3, which gives us 12. So we write down the 2 and we carry the 1 here. And we do 4 times 2, which gives us 8. And then we add on to this 1 and that gives us 9. Now this is basically gonna, we have 115 plus 920. After multiplying 23 times 40, we are moving on to the next step, step which is adding 115 plus 920, which gives us uh, 1035. And that's the answer that we got from the other strategy too. And that's the answer that we got from this strategy, which proves that the both of the strategies work perfectly perfect. Um, so this means that 23 times 45 equals 1,035. I personally like this strategy more, so I would tell you guys to use this strategy. But of course, if the box strategy makes it easier for you guys, sure, go ahead, um, watch everything helps you the most. Here we have some examples for you to practice with us. And the first example being 14 times 83. So let's work with that for today. 14 times 83. So I'm going to use the second strategy, which is the standard algorithm, basically the word, um, the traditional vertical multiplication, because honestly, that helps me the most. So for this, let's write down 14 times 83 and put that line. So now we're going to do four times three first, which gives us 12, write down the 12, carry the one, do three times one, which is three, and then add the one, which is four. Next, what we are going to do is add the zero first. Then we are going to do eight times four, which is, of course, 32. So two and then carry the three here. And then eight times one is eight plus three gives us 11. Now we add the numbers, which is going to be. So two plus zero is two. Four plus two is six. And then we just write down the one. So the answer would be 1,162. So basically, 14 times 83 equals 1,162. 1, Our next example is 93 times 65. This is a very huge number, but it's okay. Um, again, we're, we're going to use the vertical multiplication for this. So let's do that. 93 times 65. So first we're gonna do five times three, which is 15. So write down the five and carry the one. Um, five times nine or nine times five is 45 and plus one would be 46. Now we're gonna go 
to the other step, which is adding that zero and multiplying the six now. So six times three is 18. So eight over here and then carry the one again. Six times nine is 54 and 54 plus one is 55. So that would be five and then um, six plus eight is 14, so four, one, four here, one here. Um, five plus four is nine, but that one is gonna add it to 10. So zero here, one here, and that is gonna give us six because five plus one. So the answer for 93 times 65 is 6,045. The next example is 82 times 60. I do want you guys to pause the video here and try it um, on your own first. Welcome back. Um, so let's do it together. 82 times 60. Let's write down 82 times 60. And um, of course, anything times zero is zero. So it's gonna be zero times two is zero, zero times eight is zero. Now the next step is plus adding that one zero and then six times two is 12. So carry the two, add on, um, add on the one. Sorry, write down the two, carry the one. 6 times 8 is 48, and plus 1 would make it 49. So the answer of this would be 4,920. So the answer for that would be 82 times 60 is 4,920. Our next example is 77 times 11. So let's work with that. So 77 times 11. So um, seven times one is seven, seven times another one is seven. Now we're gonna add, so put that down zero, and then again, it would be seven and seven since it's the same number. Um, so this would be seven plus zero would be seven. Seven plus seven would be 14 and carry the one. So seven plus one technically would be eight. Why does my eight look like that? Okay, eight. So 77 times 11 is 847. Next, we have 52 times 80. Um, so let's write it down first. 52 times 80. Again, it's zero, so it's gonna be zero and zero. Plus, let's write down that one zero. Eight times two is 16, carry, uh, write down the six, carry the one. Eight times five is 40, um, plus one would make it 41. Next, we're gonna just add, so zero. Uh, six plus zero is six, and then 41. So that makes our answer that of uh, 52 times 80 is 4,106. So now we have 24 times 83, so let's write down that too. 24 times 83. Four times three is 12, so write down the two, carry the one. Um, three times two is six plus one would make it seven plus let's write down that zero and eight times four is 24 so four here and then write down two um, eight times two is 16 plus that two would make it 18 so that would be um, 72 plus 1840 so two plus two is two Seven plus four is 11, so we carry that one. Eight plus one is nine, and then that one. So the answer for 24,000, oh sorry, 24 times 83 would be 1,912. 49 times 55 is our next example. Um, so let's work with that. So 49 times 55, you know the drill. We're gonna first work with the, work with the five. Um, five times nine is 45, so write down the five, carry the four. Five times four is 20, plus four would make it 24. Now let's add, um, write down that zero. Um, five times nine is, again, 45, so five here, and another four. Um, five times 20 is, five times four is 20, plus four would make it 24. So now let's just add. 5 plus five, uh, 5 plus 0 is 5. Um, 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 4 is 6. And again, 2. 
So the answer would be 2,695. This is our last example for today, which is 15 times 51. Um, let's write that down, 15 times 51. So five times one is five, and one times one is one, of course. Now we're gonna add um, and put a zero here. Five times five is uh, 25, so five here, um, carry the two. Five pl times one is five, and then plus two would make it seven. Now we're just gonna add normally and do five plus zero, which gives us five. Five plus one, which is six, and then seven. So 15 times 51 gives us 765. You just learned how to multiply two digit numbers using box and the standard algorithm method. Now you know how to break big problems into simple steps. And that's a skill you'll use again and again in math and even in real life. So if this video helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Use Tutors, and hit the notification bell so you can never miss a new lesson. And remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. See you in the next video and keep up with the great work that you're already doing. Bye-bye!